to my room. Can we get it in the camera shot in a good way? The shirt has been delivered to the room. It's a um, apicus mousse with some assorted good stuff. So thank you very much, Helga, for making sure that I have dinner. Sushi dessert. Yeah, I don't know. It looks pretty good. It looks pricey, says Forked about it. Yes! It is a very, very fancy dinner. And I'm very happy I didn't have to miss out on the best part. Thank you, Crazy Coffee Man. Pureed apricots. Yes, thank you, Lila BC. BQ. Is that a Norwegian dessert? I don't care where it's from. I just care that it's good. Why are you doing this to us? I mean, why am I skipping dessert? To stream Title Tuesday for you guys. Winning two games in a row. We all have our, you know, perspectives. But from my perspective, I'm both, I'm getting both stuff done. I'm Winnie the Pooh over here. Y'all talk begedele. Have you rectified not seeing The Matrix yet? No, I have not. I have actually been quite busy the last couple of days. Part of me being busy was trying to prepare for for this talk. And it was very successful. I had lots of positive feedback, so I'm very happy to to have gone here, to have challenged myself talking about something I'm not really that familiar about. But relating it to chess, so, so that I feel comfortable. Okay. The world number one, maybe number two, junior player, Jeffrey Shong. That is going to be a tough nut. This is going to be a tricky game. Okay, I feel like he's not supposed to take on d4. I feel like that's not very common. The 300 bits from Chess Daddy. Thank you. Mm. I really feel like you're not supposed to play this way. But I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do in response. Should I give a check? Check, bishop in between. Doesn't really feel like I'm accomplishing much. Could be good either way, but it feels wrong. I guess maybe bishop here? Okay. What happens if I go forward now? Is this some kind of special opening preparation I am not aware of? If I go here, maybe he goes with a queen. If he goes here, then I can just take, take, take. Looks pretty good for me. What is this? I can give a check, then he has to move his king. Why does he want to move his king? Doesn't really feel like the best plan in the position, moving his king. If I go forward with the, with the pawn, he goes queen e7. Yeah, but even then, am I not winning a piece? Queen e7, I go with my bishop. Ah, then he gives a check. Yeah, but even so. Let's try this. I have no idea what's going on, but let's try it. Ah, now he's going to go knight c6. Okay, I still don't understand what's going on. I do not understand what's going on, but we will let the kid figure it out. 
on our behalf. Okay, I'm still very confused. Ah, uh, maybe he could have taken my bishop. Ah, uh, that's probably it. He should have taken my bishop. Moving his knight here is probably a big mistake. Because now this knight is going to get trapped. He sh yeah, he should have taken my bishop and then trapped my rook with his bishop. That was probably super clever. Or was it? Then I would have knight d5. I, this opening has been very strange to me. I am very confused right now. Okay, so I can go knight d5, but then after king d7, he threatens bishop takes b2. So I guess I'm just going to develop my pieces and say that I am better with my uh, two pieces for a rook. Which uh, I probably am. Now he's just moving quickly because he realizes that he has kind of made a mistake. He didn't really intend to go into this. Okay, we're going to put the knight on d4 and then the bishop on f3. I have a very nice position, actually. Okay, so knight d4, then he wants to go f4. So we're going to go g3 and then uh, h4. G5 was a very strange decision by him. Because now he's getting tricky pawns. I think he's going to have to sacrifice. I am crushing this kid. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, today's a present. Thank you for the 50 bits, Cash Minky. Okay, I'm just going to take this pawn. I don't see the big deal. I'm very tempted to just move my forces. Hammer's armed forces. Move them forward. Although I'm, I'm going to go this. On this one occasion, I'm going to actually protect instead. I am completely winning. But I'm way down on time. So this uh, kid... It's going to try to beat me on time. What a kid. Kids nowadays, huh? Maybe that was a bad move by me. I don't really know. C6. So I thought I could give this check. Okay, we're going to start with this one. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. His king, not very happy. Not a very happy king. So he's going to have to go rook g7. Then I take this pawn. And then I take this pawn. And then I'm completely winning. Still. Still completely winning. I think this is the way to do it. I'm going to give back one pawn. But my bishops are going to be monsters. Ooh, actually that was brilliant by me. He has no way to defend this pawn. He has no way to defend the pawn. That was really clever. I'm such a clever guy. Okay, we're going to go here. We're not even going to take his pawn. We're just going to keep attacking his pieces. Check. Um, uh, if I mess this up, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, let's move this one forward. Let's just... I don't know. Uh, 
Don't lose some time. That would be unnecessary. Uh, is he threatening anything? I can't really tell. Okay, let's get this king up in his business. Let's actually do this. Ah, and it's a resignation! I'm gonna get the rook on d1. I'm gonna get the rook on d1. Good game, says one Dragsel in chat. On the chess.com chat. And I'm guessing Twitch is gonna be pretty happy about it too. Kids nowadays, huh? Says Hill Valley with a three month Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Hill Valley. Oh, and my cell phone is flying off the, the table. Don't jinx it, says Andro. I had it completely under control. Let's go more dessert, says Cash Mankey with the 300 bits. I'm very happy you reminded me. I may have forgotten my dessert had you not said that. Miskimu with the with the three months. That was a nice game since Made in 3. It, it really was. I destroyed that kid. 